clear and you're bagging. You're absolutely bagging. And you're not fishing that far, are you? No, five, six sections, Paul. Yeah. And, and what I've noticed more than anything is that you got a pot on your pole and you're throwing bait in. Just explain the reason why you're doing that. Yeah, so initially you ship out, use your pole pot to put the slop mix in yeah. and then to keep the fish in your peg because they come to the initial slop and then to keep the fish in your peg just loose feed casters over the top right so a bit of noise and a bit of food and yeah you've got that cloud that's the cloud that remains in the water yeah. and then just keep casters going in to keep the bait introduced into the peg so you've got let's so say you've got your pot on your pole but yeah what are you putting in there you're putting some cloud in are you putting, slop are you it up? yeah mixing up casters worms some soil some yeah. pellets that have broke down because yeah. it's in plenty of water yeah so it makes a nice cloud on the surface. The yeah. yeah. And then you make a, basically a food trail by keeping feeding casters. Yeah. So you want a constant food trail of bait going in. Yeah. Rather than shipping back out time, all the time, you're maximising your chances of catching fish. Yeah, brilliant. And you, I noticed that it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be precisely accurate with your casters when you're going in. No, That's not at all. as if you're holding them in yeah. the area. Yeah. And then when you, when you pop that feed in, right on top of your fish, yeah. Zoning in, zone in, but they'll keep in, in that you've got a bit nice big food source in the, in the area, in the big area. Yeah. And also, I've noticed you're slapping it. Yeah. To the to make the noise to attract the fish. Yeah. So you you sort of so you trying not to feed them too much. No, you're simulating the slop going back in the water. Yeah. So that's like three different ways. Yeah. Of keeping the fish in your keeping peg. the fish in your peg. Yeah. That's a really good tip. That yeah. really good tip. So ship it out, drop the slop in, whip the rig over. You don't get a bite straight away. Flick it again. Keep flicking it over. And then, then you introduce the casters. Then loose feed a few casters once you once I feel that the, the the cloud's gone through through the water a bit too much. And you've got a little bulk on. A little bulk. But you're working the rig all the time, yeah. you're slapping it, so the fish are take, basically taking the bait almost as the, as the bulk settles yeah. and that last bit falling. Yeah. Brilliant tip. So a constant food trail of water, uh, food, food trail of food through the water. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of fish there as well, isn't there? And then as soon as you can fish, feed some more, chuck you some more hopefully to line one up for yeah. straight away for the next chop. And then when you put a fish in the net, put the, put the fill the pot up again. Yeah. And go through the process. Same process again, yeah. Brilliant.